Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome to the 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa game. Today we are back in the CONCACAF region to do another qualifying series, this time with the much requested Trinidad and Tobago. A lot of you have been asking for this, so I figured, yeah, all right, we'll do Trinidad finally and see how far we can get with them. They're two and a half star team, so I have mixed up a few of the teams, but I've kept obviously Mexico and the United States, of course, and Costa Rica rica as well you know just to make it more competitive so let's find out what groups we're gonna get so as usual we have to randomize it i'm really hoping that i get a nice easy group just for the start of this qualifying campaign so in three two one boom and we are in a group with turk and caicos islands jamaica and Mexico so that's actually quite a tough group I think only two people can go through in that one I think we might have some problems especially with Mexico and Jamaica in the same group all right so our first match is against the Turk and Caicos Islands and as usual before we always start we are on legendary it is the best way to play these qualifying campaigns here we go then, we're in Turk and Caicos for this one and I'm hoping well realistically we should be winning this one unless we have an absolutely awful performance i know that trinidad and tobago qualify for 2006 but they haven't featured at a fifa world cup since 2006 of course that was with the likes of like what like dwight york up front and um who else was it uh because we got kenwin jones up front for for my team here so yeah i'm hoping that we can do something but I'm not sure if we got Dwight York. He might be in the reserves. So maybe we might have to bring him back. Jamaica have taken the lead against Mexico. Cheers for F for getting in the way. 2-0. Wow. Jamaica in the first four minutes. Just absolutely pummeling Mexico. We have also done a run with Jamaica qualifying as well. So you're also welcome to check out that one. So many requests and stuff like that. You know... Just be patient and we should be able to get through these countries one by one. Um, not before this World Cup, but definitely before the next World Cup, surely. I know that Trinidad and Tobago on this game are a pretty decent team. I used to play as them in the past before I started recording my runs. Back when I was a teenager, used to play as Trinidad and Tobago quite a lot. Cross that in. That's not a bad one. Diving header has gone in. It has gone in. And that is Kenwin Jones with the first goal of our qualifying campaign. I mean, of course that was going to go in. It is against a keeper who's rated like what? Like 45 or something like that. But it was a nice diving header. Probably the slowest diving header you've ever seen. Trinidad and Tobago were also kind of involved in 2018 qualifying as well well they were but their most noteworthy moment was beating the united states to knock the united states out of world cup qualifying and send panama and costa rica to the world cup which was a massive surprise back then you know the united states dropping out of world cup qualifying through ball and it's just shrugged off there. But they got a free kick on the edge of the box. A bit of a light foul. But okay, ref. Let's see what they can do with this one. If they score, I'll be very surprised. Lowry and Keeper had to reach for it. So that's their first proper chance of the game. Well, it's half time. And we haven't been at our best so far. Only a 1-0. But it's okay. We're just starting out. But... We kind of need a big win to get the form skyrocketing so that when we play against Jamaica or Mexico, we can hopefully beat them. Making a substitution at half time, we're bringing on Scotland for Glenn. So I do, I have heard of Scotland before, but I can't really pinpoint where he used to play. I can't remember that far. We've really struggled here against Turk and Caicos. Really have. It's not been, wow, Jamaica 3-3. Free, free. Okay, well, those two cannot be separated so far. To you. We got it back. To you. Through ball. That's a great one. Scotland. Yep, yeah, that's a great play. And that is 2-0. And Scotland gets a second goal for Trinidad and Tobago. Punched away by the Trinidad keeper. They got it. And another shot, but it was easily saved. Our keepers kind of flapped at quite a lot of these shots. So I'm a bit worried that when we play against Mexico and Jamaica, he's going to do the same. 
Good through ball. Here comes Scotland. Can he get a third for Trinidad and Tobago? Yes, he can. That was good control. Good placement as well. 3 0. And Trinidad and Tobago start off their campaign with a win. 4 3 to Mexico. Oh, 4 4. What is this game on? Honestly, what is this game on? Like, Jamaica, as soon as Mexico scored, Jamaica are like, nope, nope, you're not winning. It's like, what? And that's going to be it. It's full time, 3 0 to Trinidad and Tobago. And we'll see what happened in the other match. Maybe there was a late goal to make it 5-4 either to Jamaica or Mexico. I'm hoping not though. No, it was 4-4. What a game that was though for Jamaica and Mexico. That will definitely go down as an instant classic. Alright, just before we start this match against Jamaica, I want to see if we do somehow have Dwight York on the side. Like in deep in the reserves. Surely he was around, right? I mean, maybe not, but... Um... I could be wrong. I think I am wrong. No, is that him? Dwight York. CM. I thought he was a striker. Right? Like, oh, 36 years old, maybe? I mean, he's only rated 67. On 2006, obviously, he was rated higher. He's not a star player either, which is surprising. Surely he would have been an icon like sort of player for Trinidad and Tobago, right? Our second match then is against Jamaica at home. So with Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago, when they play each other, is it kind of like, I know their countries aren't really that close, but being Caribbean related, is it kind of like a rivalry? Because I, I personally consider Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago to be two of the best teams in the Caribbean. Not North America, but you know, the Caribbean. So is that like a kind of rivalry? Because I know there's a Caribbean Cup and everything. So uh, for me, in my mind, I just think that these two kind of want to beat each other just to be like the top dog in the Caribbean. Into the box here. Oh, over the bar. That was nice dribbling. I didn't even expect to go that far, but Glenn puts it over the bar. Oh, no. It's Fuller. I can't even catch him. None of my defense pick him up. And he scores. Jamaica have scored to make it 1-0 against the runner play. And um, yeah, 1-0 to Jamaica. Our defence just completely lost control of everything. Their shape fell. And that's what happens. Jamaica will just go through and tap it in. That's a good ball. Here comes Glenn. 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 Oh, the goalkeeper saved it. And it didn't have enough momentum to actually get past him. I couldn't get past Jamaica. The problem is with Jamaica is that they're a very, very pacey side. And I don't know if Trinidad and Tobago are. Like, I know they're decent when you get them fired up. Most teams are. But I don't know if they have the pace. I'm not sure. But here come Jamaica. They have free realm. But instead, they decided to pass it out again. Mexico have finally taken the lead against Turk and Caicos, and it is 1-0 to Jamaica as we go into half-time. It's not like we haven't been completely useless, but Jamaica are sat back now and making our lives a little bit difficult. Good tackle. Alright, keep pushing, keep pushing. Up to you. Into the box. How are you putting that wide? I don't understand it. How are you putting that wide? You're right in front of goal, and you're putting it wide. To you. To you. Go on. Keep going. Come on. Yes. We cheesed it. But it's 1-1. Kenwin Jones the saviour of this match. And oh, thank God for that. Because it was really frustrating that match. We couldn't really get forward. And I thought I was going to get tackled on this play. When the two defenders came over. But I was able to lose them. And quickly shoot before the third one came in Jamaica have been really good defensively and this is at home as well what are they going to be like away when we play them at their ground given away and it's a free kick to uh, Trinidad and Tobago virtual stay on side please go on Oh, it's gone in! He miskicked it and it's gone in! It's Edwards! I can't believe it! He miskicked that! If you look at the replay, he completely miskicked it, I think. Like, 
it wasn't the direction I wanted to turn in. It wasn't even like, I don't even know what happened. I passed it here because I, I got pretty much tackled and then that happened. I wanted to shoot to Edward's right, but he accidentally shot to the left. So I think he scuffed the shot and it went in anyway. What a comeback by Trinidad and Tobago. It's 2-1. Can we hold on? And that's going to be it. We just got a win against Jamaica. That's a big win. That is a very, very big win because that puts us at six points. It means we pull away from Jamaica. Mexico, I assume, beat the Turk and Caicos Islands. Yeah, only a 1-0 though. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with the start we have so far. We were pretty lucky in that match though, to be fair, because Jamaica were dominant defensively. And I was lucky that I was able to get those two goals at the end. Our third match is against Mexico away from home at the Azteca. It's so cool that they actually put this stadium in the game. Just makes it a little bit more realistic, doesn't it? So we need to beat Mexico in order to have nine points in the group. And it will probably solidify qualification because you've got to think that even if we lose against Mexico and Jamaica in the reverse fixtures, we still got the Turk and Caicos Islands. So surely we should be beating them. But we're in a nice position. Good header. We're going to be under a lot of pressure from Mexico in this match. I feel like Trinidad take a little while to actually like get going in any kind of match. You know, it's really difficult. Most of these sides just pass the ball around and put a lot of pressure on me. And it just feels like I'm just sat here just trying to defend. Out to you. Shall we go for it? Yep, yeah, because I got fouled. And that's going to be a free kick to Trinidad and Tobago. Out to Birchall. Can he get the strike off? No, but Jones has got it. And he smashes it in for 1-0. That was so lucky. That defensive error by Mexico. Super lucky. And Kenwin Jones scores at the Azteca. What an absolute legend Kenwin Jones is. Absolute baller. Look at this. He got so lucky, he chests it down and then volleys it straight past the Choa for 1-0. Dos Santos into the middle here. And it's cut out by Trinidad and Tobago. Fantastic work. Through ball. Oh yes, here comes Scotland. Come on. It's Scotland. He scores. It's 2-0. And this is amazing from Trinidad and Tobago. Another goal away from home against Mexico. This time Scotland. And Kenwin Jones and Scotland have been a really good partnership. I don't know what to call them. They both have ponytails. So you can call them like the ponytail partnership or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Someone will probably give me a better name in the comments. I hope. It's half time and Trinidad and Tobago are producing a shock result so far against Mexico. 2-0 away from home. We played really well. I think that result against Jamaica has just elevated the form ever so slightly. You know, it's a comeback win. So all these players are going to be on really good form. And now against Mexico, we'll be flying if it stays like this. Feels like... Even though I'm winning, it feels like Trinidad and Tobago are running quite slow. It feels like we're very slow because, I don't know, it just feels like it. Battle, come on Scotland. Yes, he's through and off the bar. Ah, oh, and we couldn't header it either. Edwards on the ball. Jones. Kenwin Jones. He's like, yep, yeah, I'm a beast. You ain't going to stop me. Literally, I am going to stop him. He scored. Oh my God. Kenwin Jones. He is a unit. The absolute unit. The Mexico manager is thinking, what on earth is going on here? We are 3-0 up against Mexico. Here we go. Dwight York is on. The legend. He's got his age on the back of his shirt, pretty much. Oh, Mexico somehow found their way through. And they're going for it. And they put it wide. How did they put that one wide? They could have got at least one. But it wouldn't have mattered anyway, I guess. But yeah, fantastic result here. For Trinidad and Tobago. This will give us 9 points out of 3 games. Of course we've got to play everybody again. But it's still amazing. Amazing job by Trinidad and Tobago. To come here away from home. And beat Mexico 3-0. It's our 4th 
match in this qualifying group and it's against Jamaica. This time it's away from home. We have nine points. Uh, second place have four and I think third place also have four. That's obviously Jamaica and Mexico. So we're doing well. We're five points clear. And even if we drop this game and drop the one against Mexico as well, then I still think that we might qualify because we got the last game against Turk and Caicos Islands. Shelton running through for Jamaica. Is there options in the box? There is. And oh, <laughs> very close to conceding a goal there. How did that stay out? Fuller. Out on the wing, crossed in. They got it. Oh, Gardner misses a big chance there. Jones out on the wing and he gets sly tackled there. What's that going to be? Is that going to be a red? No, it's only going to be a yellow. Jamaica again resorting to fouling. They just can't contain Kenwin Jones. And I haven't even brought on Scotland yet. I thought I'll give Glenn a run and see if he gets any kind of form. Glenn. And he gets slide tackled again. That's going to be another yellow. That guy only just made a foul like about two seconds ago. And he's off. And to be honest, that was kind of a stupid decision from Jamaica to do that. Now they're down to 10 men. Scotland is coming on for Glenn. I feel sorry for Glenn really because he's not really doing it at the moment. Scotland just is a better player. He's more powerful and can get through on goal way easier than Glenn. Look at this over the top to Jones and we scored straight away and that is 1-0 to Trinidad and Tobago. So easy and that was because of Scotland's over the top ball. Do you know what I mean? These two are just so good. And that's what's going to carry us, I think, in the second round of qualifying if we get through. I mean, as it stands, we will go through. Through ball, Scotland. And he gets wiped out there. Off the ball. That's another red card for Jamaica. And they, they have lost their heads. They have absolutely lost their heads there. What is he doing on that play? I mean, you've got to do what you've got to do to try and stop him. But now Jamaica are screwed. Well, it might end just 1-0 here. I'm still happy that we got the win, but we should have been a bit more better in front of goal, to be honest. We haven't really tested Jamaica, a nine-man Jamaica, might I say, as well. But I guess sometimes it's like that. Sometimes against teams that are down to nine men, ten men, sometimes it's harder. Well, sometimes anyway, but yeah, I'm happy with the win. Mexico thrashed Turk and Caicos 7-0, so that means Jamaica will drop down to third. I will still remain in first place. All right, before we play Mexico, let's just quickly check the table, and we are top with 12 points, no losses. We've done really well here in this first round of qualifying. Uh, Mexico are just behind us with seven points, so they're five points behind us. So even if they beat us here in the next match, they still won't have enough to make us lose out on qualifying because Jamaica are so far behind us as well. So even if Jamaica win their last two matches, it still won't be enough to overtake me. So I'm pretty safe. It's going to be a battle between Mexico and Jamaica. Here we go then against Mexico, this time at our ground in Trinidad and Tobago. So let's hope that we can get another result like we did away from home against Mexico. Samuel, Noel, Virtual, up to Jones. Jones over the top. Can Glenn get there? Go on. Headed by a Choa. Not headed by a Choa, sorry. Saved by a Choa. And Jones. Oh, just wide. Oh, to Santos. Out on the wing. Crossed in, headed away, but they got it. Good save, though, by Ince. No, that was a really poor ball. Good save, but come on. No, oh, that was stemmed from that throw. That throw was so bad, but okay. Blanco scores to make it 1-0. That was such a poor throw. I wanted it to um, number three, but instead it went straight down the middle. Through ball. It's Glenn. He's still pushing. Somehow, into the box. Oh, cleared by Mexico. I don't know why Ochoa just decided to palm it. It was such a weird thing to do. You could have just laid down and caught it. Glenn on the ball. Down to Edwards. Back to Glenn. To Kenwin Jones. And he scores. That's a great assist by Glenn. And an even better strike from Jones. He has tied it up here just before half time. Through ball. Go on. 
Oh, Ochoa just saves it. And it's a corner to Trinidad and Tobago. Somehow, the Turk and Caicos Islands have scored against Jamaica. It's 3-1. Blanco crosses it in. Mexico couldn't quite get that one. Scotland to Jones. Go on over the top. Yeah, Scotland's running. He He's going to have an immediate impact. He might actually get the winner. He has got the winner. It's 2-1. Trinidad and Tobago have possibly snatched this one away from Mexico, allowing Jamaica now to move into second place. That means on the final day when Mexico and Jamaica play each other, that will be a crucial match because whoever wins that one will go through and whoever loses will go out. One last chance for Mexico to potentially rescue a point. And that's not going to happen here. And Trinidad and Tobago have got another win. That's five wins from five. Sensational qualifying campaign from them. Mexico and Jamaica are struggling to sort of get top spot. We have claimed it. But yeah, now they're going to have to play each other to find out who goes through in second place. So, looking at the table for the final time in this video, Trinidad and Tobago are top with 15 points. There's absolutely no way we can fall off. So, this game is a bit of a nothing game for us. But, you know, let's just try and have some fun and see how many goals Dwight York can score for us. Through ball here, potentially. Here comes York. He's got it. Come on. Roll back the years, Dwight York. Damn it. Oh, yes, Kenwin Jones scores, though. That's another goal to his tally. And that is 1-0 to Trinidad and Tobago. Unfortunately, you know, Dwight York got sent flying on the floor. So I was just like, OK, just shoot with Kenwin Jones. And it just goes straight in. Out on the wing. It's crossed in. And the diving header was saved. And we're going to go into halftime with a slender 1-0 lead. Still doesn't matter. You know, it, it doesn't, it, like, really matter at all. Through ball. Oh, here comes York. He's through. Can he score his first World Cup qualifying goal? He has. He rolls back the years with a strike into the bottom corner. And Dwight York has scored for Trinidad and Tobago. Here comes Turk and Caicos with Shearer over the bar. I didn't realise they had Alan Shearer or his uh, long lost cousin. Mexico have equalised against Jamaica. That's a big goal. That means Mexico are now in that second place spot. And that's going to be it. We've beaten the Turk and Caicos only a 2-0. I mean, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. But, yeah, we go through. And I'm fairly sure Mexico went through in second place with the draw against Jamaica. Yeah. So, that's really heartbreaking for Jamaica. And, of course, Mexico, they would be so happy to go through in second place. That is your table. We are in a group with United States, Costa Rica, Mexico, Honduras and El Salvador. None of the smallest teams actually went through. So yeah, a basic group. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this first part of our Trinidad and Tobago qualification. Tune in next time for part two and if you did enjoy it, give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always and I'll see you again for the next video. <laughs>